cosine rule. One of the methods to uh, use to solve math writing with triangles. So what does cosine rule uh, say? So cosine rule. So the cosine rule works when you have two sides. Somebody may give an angle, say we have these two sides, which are somebody with this given angle. You are required to find the side which is opposite to somebody's angle. So C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cos C. So let's have a look at how it works. Let's make use of this example. Then this angle to be 95 degrees for 5. So I can find the side which is opposite to the side of the angle. So that would be x ray is equal to the two sides which are side of the angle. 4 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 times 4 times 5 cos 95 degrees. 4 squared plus 16. Plus 25 minus 2 times 4, 8 times 5, 40. Cos 95 degrees, 16 plus 25, that's 41. Minus 40, cos 95. Please take note of this. Uh, you cannot say 41 minus 40 because both must say that multiplication comes first before subtraction. So you're supposed to multiply 40 and cos 95 first before you deduct that from 41. So this point is the swap sign. So it becomes x is equal to the power 2 times the swap. So x is equal to root 41 minus uh, uh, 40 cos 95. So let's punch that in our calculators. 41 minus 40 cos 95 a 6.67 6.67 so that's how we make use of course and rule when you are required to find the missing side how about when you are required to find the missing the missing angle take note in solving all our triangles for you to start solving a triangle you must be given three items or three uh, three details on the uh, triangle in the case in this case we had 4 5 and 95 so you have a breakthrough of solving the triangle because you're given three items so how about with the three items which are given are the three sides and then you'll be required to find the angle so for the angle we change the subject of the formula cosine rule for angles we change the subject of the formula there then it gives you cos C is equal to A squared plus B squared minus C squared over 2AB. Let's say we look at this example. Say you are given the sides uh, 5, 9, 10. We are required to find that angle theta might be theta. So we're going to say cos theta is equal to the two sides which are sandwiching the angle 5 squared plus 10 squared minus the side which is opposite to the side the angle all over 2 by 5 by 10. 5 squared plus 25 plus uh, 10 squared that's 100 which is 125 minus 81 over 2 times 5, 10 times 10 that's 100. Uh, 125 minus 81 that's 44 44 over 100 so theta will be equal to i cos 44 over 100 we punch that in our calculators make sure that the calculator is in degrees so i cos that we get 63.9 63 63.9 degrees so that's how we solve non rectangle triangles. We make use of sine rule and then we use uh, O cosine rule. Sine rule with its limitations of uh, it just works in a triangle where you are given 
the information is given in at least one complete page. Then all the other cases we make use of four side rule where we have two sides and we give a given angle or we have given uh, all the three sides that we are required to find the missing angles. So that's how we solve non-rectangle triangles.